hi everyone and welcome back to my place and the designs that are part of the great botanical journey where we go behind the scenes to discover where our flowers come from and all through this first of the series it's to do with some bidium orchids and I want to show you this look at this look at this isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And I saw these and I thought, oh, what could I do with these beauties? And can you do a design with just two stems and a bit of this and a bit of that? Well, yes, you can. And when I was in the studio, I thought, what could I put them with? And then my eyes fell on this urn here. I've got two of them. There's one over there. And there's one here. I don't know why I buy things in pairs, but I can't help myself. I have had these for years and years and years. I'm saying like close on 30 years and I've never used them because I was waiting for just this, the right flower to and use them or to display in them. Anyway, so what I've done here is I've just got some, in the base here, I've just got some foam. I could have used some um, wire, but my studio is still not going, so there was no access to wire. Now, I've got this beautiful Tillandsia, and I just looked at the outside colorings on here and thought, oh, yes, 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 yes. That will be just beautiful hanging down the side. I just want it to be like just, like just hanging and just doing whatever it wants to do, and I might just put that bit over over to there and as much as and I don't want that too much down there and all I'm the reason I'm using that two reasons why I'm using the Tillandsia is to cover the foam because I don't want to see the foam the foam is just to hold the flowers and you know how we feel about that and then I thought you know what I remembered what Constance Spry used to do and she had this saying and she used to say people would say to her or she would say the difference between a weed and a flower or a seed head or a bit of wheat or whatever she found on the side of the road it was just an opinion you know it's like a weed what's the difference between a weed and a flower it's just an opinion and she loved to incorporate all sorts of lovely things that she found as like visual stimuli to the eye and that's what I really love about studying her work. So in bringing in different textures I just wanted to share that you can bring in some dried raw organic materials with something pristine and alive like an orchid. So what I'm going to, and we're channeling constant spray now, and I really love this. And when I found these at the market, I discovered that they were from Israel. Who knew that they grew cotton in Israel? That's what I'm loving about the great botanical journey, because we're finding and discovering all sorts of things that we as floral designers and flower lovers get to use and we're finding out where they came from. So I'm just going to put those two over there. The other thing I've got here is some preserved salal. And I just, I looked at the colouring in there, I looked at the colouring of my container and then when you look into the orchid, look at that, it's not quite, but it's of that, it's a tone of that burgundy. It's just a little bit darker. So I looked at these and I thought, oh, now that's quite lovely. Why don't we just use that? And on this side, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to start bringing that up. Just a little bit of height over here, and I'm going to bring that up a little bit higher over here, so that I've got, you know, just not mirroring, but one's going up and one's going down. But look, you know what? You can just pretty much do whatever you want to do, or what gives you floral joy, because I think that flower. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, I won't say that just yet, but I think that flowers should be reclassified as memory keepers because I don't know one person who does not have some kind of feeling to a flower whether it be its shape its fragrance a tree a time and place just beautiful okay now the next to go into here is I've got a little bit of preserved hydrangea so I'm just going to put that little bit into there and I'm going to bring this bit 
up and over and into there. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, is that just a little bit too dominant? Well, actually, you're right, it is a bit too dominant. I'm just going to bring those bits back across to there and just bring these in just a little bit shorter. Now, I've got this white there, which is coming back through as a tone of this, and I've got this lovely branch, and that branch connects into with those lovely salau leaves, and I've got this big green mouldy mounds down here, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, something's just not quite right, but fortunately, we have these beautiful poppies, and I love those seeds, so I'm just going to bring those over to there. I'm channeling what Constance Bry used to do from behind the front. I wonder if she would approve of what I'm doing here. She probably took much, much longer to do what she did when she was doing hers, but look, I've got a crack on. So I'm just going to push those down and into there like so. And then I'm going to bring just a few higher. These are a little bit messy when you're working with them. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to bring these up a little bit higher over here so that you can see them. And bring that down into there like that. And I, as I'm getting into this, I'm thinking, oh, Constant would love this. So to bring the balances, so what I'm doing now is I've got these spikiness, this spikiness over here. So that there's really thick and heavy and visually matty. So just by bringing in the poppy heads, oops, I don't want that one. What I'm doing is I'm diffusing the visual weight. And do you know what? As I shake these, I'm thinking to myself, ha-ha, there's poppy seeds in there. And some of these might just be going for a trip out into my garden very, very soon. Now that can go into there. And I might as well use all of these because I just... Why not, you know? Oh, look at that spike. I think that, for those of you who don't know who Constance Bry is, it's well worth a little Google search into the work that she did. And she was very clever. And it's through her that we, all the rules of you couldn't do this and you couldn't do that, they all got broken, which just freed us up to do whatever we wanted to do. Because don't forget that the Victorians and the Edwardians, they were very, very specific about how things were to be from all aspects of society to the way that one conducted themselves. So she broke all of those rules. Now, getting rid of this to our feature flower, and I'm gonna use this one. Oh no, I'll use that one there. I don't want these to be too short. And at this stage, I'm not sure whether that's going to be too tall or not, but we'll just press that down into there. Like, oh, perfect. Now you'll notice that I've pushed that as quite far down. The reason I've done that is because the stem of the Cymbidium orchid is very, very beautiful, but it's actually the support structure in which to support the beautiful fl florets or flowers or blooms. So I don't want it to be way up here. I want the eye to drift over this, see that, and then whip through and up to the top. Now with this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into there like that, slant cut that, and I'm just going to bring that down and into there like so and with this last one I'm going to keep that floric because I'm going to use that for something else and I'm just going to bring that down and into there so that that pushes that out now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking oh, it just needs one more thing and I think I know what that is so give me one second to go and get it and I'm going to bring it into here and you'll see what I mean one moment and here it is, a little bit of hanging uh, amaranthus. So I'm, what I want to do is to just bring that into there because I just think that it needs a little bit more movement. So we'll have that on that side and then I'll bring the other bit over to here. Look at that, combining a little bit of organic dried and preserved in with 
the fresh. I absolutely love that and because I can, I'm just going to bring that down to there and when that goes onto the sideboard, that's going to look gorgeous. I hope you've enjoyed this. I enjoy this type of designing. So thank you very much, Constance Spry, for just breaking the rules so that we designers could do whatever we wanted to do. See you again another day.